long years of experience in the company's own production activities, have provided the Egger Auto Plastics and Laboratory Technology Company with a comprehensive catalog. From material to tools all the way to complete laboratory equipment, you can order all the products required for the manufacture of auto plastics, backed up by the requisite expertise. Marley Skin forms a film to protect the hands for four hours from allergic reactions and irritations. The first step in the production of a transparent silicone control form is to cut the impression to size. A universal knife is used for cutting the impression. The thread with the impression plug is then removed. A universal knife is used to cut away the overhanging impression material which forms the sides above the concha at a right angle. The impression is cut flat on the outside with the universal knife. The seal zone must not be damaged. Transparent silicone control forms are produced for ITE shells made of light polymers. The electric wax knife is used to correct inaccuracies on the impression with red correcting wax. The temperature in the electric wax immersion unit is maintained at a consistent 100 degrees Celsius. The impression is placed in a dipping sieve and dipped vertically into the liquid wax. The impression must be completely covered by the dipping wax. After a brief cooling period, the impression is positioned in the middle of the bottom part of the investment form and the ring form is inserted into the bottom. The investment form is held at a slight angle and filled until up to about 0.5 centimeters of the auditory canal are covered. Some 10 to 12 minutes later the control form is cured. The impression is taken out of the silicone with the impression removing instrument. Any dipping wax still remaining in the negative form is removed with tweezers or blown out with compressed air. Overhanging silicone veins are cut off at a right angle by a scissor without damaging the negative form. The impression is then properly processed for producing ITE shells in an auditory canal form. These materials and tools are used for processing the impression. The auditory canal is cut with the universal knife at a right angle to the auditory canal wall. This makes it easier to form the subsequent sound escape. The incoming sound waves are directed toward the eardrum and not against the auditory canal wall. The final size of the impression is fixed with the faceplate dummy. The objective here is to make the impression as small as possible, but as large as necessary. The impression is cut flat on the outside with the universal knife. If the auditory canal has a pronounced conical course, 
It should be carefully removed in this area with a pear-shaped or pointed trimmer to simplify the insertion of the finished shell into the wearer's ear. Sharp edges and trims are then removed from the impression. The surface of the impression is then reworked with a soft green polishing disc. This is carried out without pressure at a maximum speed of 10,000 RPMs. The surface must not be overly smoothed as this would make the impression too small and the finished plastic would no longer be dense. Negative forms are produced from a duplicating material to make ITE shells from light polymers. These tools and machines are used for producing negative forms from duplicating material. The electric wax knife is used to correct inaccuracies on the impression with red correcting wax. Great care must be taken not to apply too much, as this might cause pressure or stress points on the shell. The temperature in the electric wax immersion unit is maintained at a consistent 100 degrees Celsius. The impression is placed in a dipping sieve and dipped vertically into the liquid wax. The impression must be completely covered by the dipping wax. After a brief cooling period, the impression is positioned in the middle of the bottom part of the investment form and the ring form is inserted into the bottom. The duplicating material is kept liquid inside the duplicating unit at a temperature of exactly 47 degrees Celsius. The investment form is held somewhat diagonally and then filled until about one centimeter of the auditory canal tip is covered. The negative form can alternatively be made of transparent silicone, which is automatically mixed in the mixing unit for silicone duplication in a bubble-free process. The investment form is then placed for a minimum of 20 minutes in the refrigerator to solidify the duplicating material. The impression removing instrument is then used to take the impression out of the duplicating material without damaging the negative form. Overhanging duplicating materials are cut off at a right angle by a scalpel without damaging the negative form. The form is carefully blown out with a slight pressure. ITE shells are manufactured from Egger light curing materials in opaque, flesh, beige brown, red or blue colors. These tools and machines are used to produce ITE shell blanks from UV curing material. Some LPH clear modeling paste is applied to work in the label. The label is placed with tweezers in the modeling paste so that the lettering is clearly legible. After that it is briefly polymerized in the light curing unit. The negative form made of duplicating material is completely filled, bubble-free, with the desired color of light curing material. Then the negative form is carefully covered with black foil. The LP material is pre-polymerized in the light unit. The various times are all listed in the product information enclosed with the material. 
The time must be increased or decreased depending on the size of the shell and the transparency of the negative form. While a wall has been formed on the outside, the blank is still liquid in the middle. The negative form is then placed with the opening down in a dipping jar until the blank stops dripping. The collected dipping material can be reused. The negative form is placed the other way around on a paper towel, which absorbs any material that is still liquid. Then the negative form is returned to the light curing unit. A timer exact to the second controls the preset three minute exposure time. Without touching the surface, the blank is then removed from the negative form and placed in a transparent rectangular container. The LP cleaner inside must cover the blank completely during the subsequent curing process. The ITE blank has an even surface when cleansed with clear water five to six minutes later and then blown dry with compressed air.